Hello friends, this is Cold Run. Welcome back to Final Fantasy XIV Endwalker. We're here in the Baldessian, not the Baldessian Arsenal, the Baldessian Annex, I think? Ready to continue with the main story quest on my Reaper. Cryon. As the heavens burn, that's right, we're getting back to some heavy shit. Though you and Kryl both have news to share, hers is perhaps the more urgent. Game, if you hurt Alizé... More. If you hurt Alizé more, I will be upset. Kryl. So, have you learned aught more of the final days? Uh, yeah, well, I've picked up a thing or two. Then the journey was well worth the risk. No doubt your newfound knowledge will be a great boon to us all. Unfortunately, during your time on the first, events here have taken a turn for the worse. Yes, I was on the first. The first is where I was. The Scions are running themselves ragged trying to contain the spread of blasphemies, but it's a losing battle. Yeah, that makes sense. To try and ascertain the where and why of it, Alizé and Alphino have been traveling all over. Of all the regions they've visited, Locus Aminus is one of the worst affected. That's in Garlemald? Thancred, Estinian, and Graha took a detachment of allied soldiers there to offer aid and succor to those in need. That would make sense that that's a, hard, that, that's a center of despair. Tataru, but the province is vast. They only managed to visit a handful of coastal villages. It was an accomplishment worth celebrating, but still, but a drop in the bucket is best. At best. Kryl, in the meantime, Ishtola and Master Matoya have been making a concerted effort to establish contact with Hydaelyn in the Ethereal Sea, but to no avail. Yeah, she was beaten up pretty bad on her journey across the, the centuries and millennia. As for Tataru and I, we have been keeping a close eye on the Forum. From what we gather, they've been constructing a vessel to ferry people to the moon. An ambitious project that has likely been years, if not decades, in the making. However, since we've seen no sign of it thus far, I suspect it's still incomplete. What if that's the... Because I know that... So, as far as where we go from here, like mechanically, I know that there's that whole... There's a big chunk of... Uh, of... I can't think of the name of it right now. That That's the underground giant global laboratory. Um, I can't think of the name. The Labyrinthos. And there's that that place. There's also... In, we've seen in the sightseeing logs that there's one other whole place that we haven't seen at all yet. And so maybe maybe the the inner part of Labyrinthos is where we're going to help construct that vessel. Cryo. You will also recall the proposal issued by Master Forshino to the people of Radzatan. Following their discussion, Vritra declared his support for the plan and urged those who wished to evacuate to accept the forum's invitation. I'd forgotten that we didn't see the outcome of that meeting, but it was, in, it was certainly tending positive. So far, so good, but that's where things get a little strange. Stranger? How? Apparently, the forum caught wind of the lunar teleporter in the Tower of Babel and decided to use it to deliver people to the moon instead of their mysterious ship. Sounds like a good idea. What's wrong with that? Tataru. Therefore, to secure safe passage for the Hanish refugees to the tower, Alphino, Alizé, Astinian, and Graha traveled to Garlemald not long ago. Trouble is, the capital was hardly the safest place to begin with, and now... Now what? The fi- Ah, oh, shit. The fine ladies have come to Garlemald. Yeah, that was bound to happen. Shortly after our friends arrived, they were sent to rendezvous with Master Fortuno. Then panic broke out, and our communications were severed. From what fragments we were able to make out before the link shell went completely silent, we can only assume the phenomenon has spread to the capital. The others need you, Kakushu. Please, you must help them. Pump, pound, pound. We are just a trio of powerful Lalafells, aren't we? Cryo. Having you will there, there may will make all of the difference, I'm sure of it. It usually does. Tataru. Camp Broken Glass was their first port of call, so you'd best start there. Hopefully Lucia will know where they are. 
Cryo. There's no telling what you'll be walking into, so you had best take every possible possible precaution. <sighs> okay. Lucia. Long time no see. Kakushu, and not a moment too soon. The skies over Garlemald are ablaze, but it's events on the ground that concern me. That's right, I didn't even look up. Yeah, the skies are ablaze indeed. As you will have heard, your fellow scions have arrived ahead of you. We cut the customary greetings short after we received word from our troops on the Magna Glaciers that the Forum's airship had landed. It was then the heavens began to burn. I dispatched your friends at once to ensure the refugees come to no harm. I would have you join them immediately. Additional support is en route, but we will discuss them later. I trust you are ready to depart. Oh, God. Several cutscenes will play in sequence. If there's ever a sign that things are about to go butt side up, it's it's this. Required to participate in battle. Progress will be saved at certain points. Okay. Earlier on the Magna Glaciers. Yeah, just a swarm of not blasphemies, but just transformed fiends. I mean, some of them might be blasphemies, I don't know. No. Look at those eyes. No, no. We were promised an escape. Not to the same doom we fled. No. Ah. That's horrifying. I shall not meet my final days here in this blasted waste. Yeah, you got this, Portia, now. Calm yourselves. Your panic is our greatest enemy. It's hard to do, but Come, I see... We must build a line of defense. Yeah, this isn't about her staying calm right now. It's about her not getting friggin' impaled. Oh, the kiddos. Leave the fighting to us, father. You must lead the people to safety. I just got a big old smile on my face right now. <laughs> Wielding his father's weapons. I can handle this pair. You shall tend to the refugees. Let us be about it. How much fan art is there of these two? Got to be As like wish, all lord. of it. All of the fan art. Assuming that Alphano is, I mean, assuming that Alphano is, you know, has grown a, like a number of years since the initial. I get, I hear that the game's canon took place in apparently took place in like one hour in like one one year all of the expansions but i i just personally that's not my own head canon um because it doesn't make sense like it it doesn't like i i i get that they have to do that for oh i'm alpha no oh shit sword pet hot bar level your drew call diagnosis uh, okay. Even within, because even within the context of the game, they've sp explicitly said that some of those things, like, he spent how many years was it for him? Three years or four years in the first? Like, he's not, I don't know, he's, I know this all came up in a question of fan art, but like, I don't know, he's not 16 anymore. Leave he's just not. Me.
It's all over. We're doomed. Uh, Terminus Howler, yeah. I don't know if there's... They're being overwhelmed by fear. Alpha, no, do what you can. I'm no bard. I would sing them a song, but... Those who can stand, come with me. Everyone's turning all this lost. Calm the distressed refugees. I don't know how to calm you. I used to just interact with you? Easy now. Yeah. Deep breaths. Okay. Go as fast as you now. can. Yeah, and this is like using those that healing magic on them as well. Our allies will see you to safety. Look at this great boy. Worry not for the refugees, but for yourself. <laughs> Worry not for the refugees. Quest, protect the refugees. No, you shouldn't stand in the thing. Of course you're going to jump out with style. Terminus Idolizer. God, these things are super cool. What is Sort Pet Hotbar? Oh, because he's my pet, technically. Okay. This is just Restore HP. And this is AoE Heal. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah, not too bad. Gotcha. Uh, hmm. Oh, it's coming like one at a time. Okay, so we gotta... I see, this is actually kind of tough. Uh, come on, Astinian. Uh, fuck. Uh, are you dead? You might be dead. No, you're okay. Whew. Gaze. Astinian, did you look? No, you were okay. Deadly tentacles. Can't get the shield up on him, but it's too late. Not too bad. All right. Nice job, Estinian. Going with that Dragoon tank stance. Oh, I never even saw her face. I didn't even know that she had a face until just now. That is unsettling. Remember when we didn't know what Estinian's face looked like? What? Oh, it's Catastrophe. Or a Catastrophe-style mob. Hey, is that the kid from... Is that the kid who was... I don't know, it, a lot of the kids blend together for me. Oh, no, it's a woman, it's not a kid. My bad. Forward! Let not a single fiend escape! Imperial forces to the rescue. Or former Imperial forces. Garlean forces, we can call them that. Wait, that's... Oh, that's the de the guy who was full of despair! Julius What's his name? Army. Julius! So, Julius! You've recovered, then? Oh, yeah, he has. Well, at Time least enough, enough for now. Evade, for once. Ugh. He's had a rough road, Julius. We can speak of it more later. For now, we must fight. Oh hell yes. To repay your salvation in kind, or with better. For Garlemald has her pride. I would love for Garleans to be a playable race at some point, but I know that you know them not being able to use magic puts a crimp in that as a play that, player I thing. No doubt. Yeah, Fortune, no, you better be proud. God, of all possible saviors, the Imperial Army. They're the Garlean Army again. Oh. But I'm with you. That's it's it's un, it's unusual. Oh, 
I had hoped to take all of them down at once. <laughs> I love you, Alize. Think a withdrawal might be in order? Oh, sod that. You know who would never abandon these people to their fate. You know who? devoured by their former friends. That'd be beyond cruel. These beasts must fall here and now. She's talking about me, the warrior of light? Is that my you know who? Well then, I'd say it's high time we threw caution to the winds. So long as you spare me the heroic sacrifices. Now, let's go. Best red mage. Right up there with Kakushu. And we get to play as her, of course we do. I love that they incorporate these in, and that they're not, that they're like simplified versions. Okay, so what do we got? Crimson Savior. I've lost too many already, Graha, with me. Contra 6, so this is AoE. Scorch combo, this is just a single target. Single target melee and... For flare, single target range, single target melee. I think we want to use... I don't know, they're they're probably all good. What is this? AoE. Okay. I love... was That's not the normal Red Mage. Um, no, this is Crimson Savior as a new ability. I love the kind of the blooming roses effect that, that she's got going on. Is there no way to break the chain of transformations? It's not looking like it. Just keep on killing them. Oh, we could probably cure up, uh, cure up Graha. Watch out, Alize. This one's not like the rest. Uh, okay, let's I'm go with the fine. single target stuff. Yeah. Black Star. Probably not a great thing. Yeah, so I think we want to use the single target ver flare combo. Kind of alternate that with um, the scorch combo. Gotcha. Not no today. problem at all. Oh, almost forgot. I didn't see that. Okay, no problem at all. Okay, we're gonna have to hide behind those yeah, then, I'm guessing. With energy. Find cover. Okay. Oh, behind both of those things. Okay, hide behind that first. Then behind this. Oh, and behind this too. And behind this. Gotcha. Okay. That is a neat mechanic. They are just, they are kicking down and out of the park with these like solo mechanics that As are not. Say, turnabout's fair play. Not too tough, but also not stuff you oh, can God. mindlessly just ignore. The best limit break just stabs right through the thing. There's not the barest trace of ether. Maybe there really is no way to bring them back. Not ether, but there's that other thing. Thank you for saving our lives once again. Man of Palika, standing up. I remember you, from Purusha. You helped us there too, didn't you? Uh, probably. Ah, oh, you're from Palika Stand. I'm glad you're still in one piece. Oh, you will be, once I see to that injury of yours. Yeah, just toss like 20 for cures and you'll help her out.
I really wonder whether there's not a way to bring them back using Look out! the other thing whose name I can't remember. The non-ether thing, non-ether ether. Oh, this is like the thing from the trailer! Now all he needs is Kakushu to come in here with a paladin shield of light and stop him. <laughs> it's Graha. Get out of here. Quickly. Taking on that role. I won't lose them. Not a one. This will be a brighter future. I won't let a madman's apocalypse ruin everything we've fought to achieve. Also, are we going to get a job change from Graha? Let him go full paladin? That'd be kind of awesome. Get it together, Alize. You're embarrassing yourself. And in front of father, no less. You just took out like 20 of them. You're you fine. Might never measure up to our champion. But we ask too much of her as it is. You mustn't let our sword in the darkness fight alone. You're not. Kakushu comes waddling in nobly. Dressed like an Amaratine. <laughs> that pan up hero shot on a Lalafell. Back, you've done well in my absence. This is why you should never skip your squat regimen. Now she's having enough. She's having enough trouble with her with her own place and things as is. Let's uh, let's just. I don't even want to say you've done well in my absence because I just want to say I'm back. I'm just I'm happy to be back. You've been kicking ass. I can look after myself, you know. Again, from the trailer, just different context, very different feel. And I've had enough of this rabble. Everything's in order, I trust. I've had enough of this rabble. <laughs> she said the thing. Okay, let's take this thing out. Oh, and now I get to play as actually Kukushu with the two people I just played as. This is neat. Agreed. Oh, wait. I have to remember how to play this friggin' job. Uh, hmm. Oh, they're switching them up. Gotcha. And we got Estidian joining the party. With me. I love the catastrophe enemy models. Julius will see to the refugees to safety. We must keep the beast at bay. Gotcha. What is this? Ah, okay. I thought it, for a second it was going to be like the Omega fight where there was going to be a... Uh, where there was going to be a like vertical element to it. But nope. That would be unusual. The standard chief of tactics there. Have I said how much I love this music? Because I friggin' love this music. Oh, shit. Yeah, okay, let's no. go here. Whew, Where okay. I got lucky there. Duty complete. And even here, even though it wasn't a vertical element, they did call the fight the their mechanics like a gravity field. I see.
Recovery in Garlemald. Much as you can recover when the sky is still on fire. You must board without delay. The ship will depart ere long. Your offer to host us in Charlian is most appreciated. But will the final days not soon fall upon it as well? Yeah, but I think we're going to... This is going to be like... It's like you're, you're getting shelter at the airport before the plane takes off. Your hesitation is not unwarranted. The satrap entrusted me with your lives, yet I have failed your comrades. That's not what she's talking about. Nor are you wrong to fear that this corruption will continue to spread. That's what she's talking about. I cannot promise you complete safety, even in my homeland. What I can promise is that I will do all in my power to protect you. Maybe she is a kid. I thought she was, at first I thought she was a boy, now I think she was an adult woman. I think she's just a girl. Yeah, I'm pretty sure she's just a girl. That power is the human, I mean. The human. Even now, my countrymen are preparing the vessel that will deliver us to a sanctuary on the moon. Join us on our journey there and beyond to new horizons. Come to old Charlian. Please. I keep thinking, is the is elsewhere even safe? Because we know that the Shroud of Ether on Aetherus protects this planet, this star. But from the from uh, Medion, but and from the Matea. But they were clear that it was just Aetherus's ether that was protecting them. And so I wonder then, if we go to just another star is, I mean, the Matea was hiding, the Matea were hiding in like a corner of the universe. They weren't hiding in a corner of this star waiting to finish off this star alone. Their, their goals aren't as small as a single galaxy or a single star. We would be fools to refuse such a generous offer made in earnest. It's also hard to tell age because the voice definitely sounds adult and and Fortuno is just so friggin' tall that it's not it's hard to com get a real comparison. It seems they've a new destination. Mm. The people of Radzat Han have known too much suffering. The march to Garlemald will only bring them more, short though it may be. I quite agree. Fortunately, they have you to look after them. Said with no sarcasm, sincerely. Yes. Well. Yeah, and he's he's feeling his. It's not his fault, but he's feeling it. Julius, what a good you. character. Just there. More blasphemies? More monsters, rather? Ah, oh, that wagging tongue. More of them. Was that Xenos? Yeah, I was going to say that was a Reaper ability. He is not going to have a face turn at this point. I don't believe that Xenos. for a second. Here. Like no chance. You'll be all right. Hurry to the airship. Xenos is not Zuko. Like not even close. And that's again, that's not a knock on Xenos. It's just, it's just I'm not remotely expecting any sort of face turn from him. Why have you come? A heretofore unseen beast. Twas ripe for the slaying. 
Xenos Viator Galvis. Poor sport, alas. Unfit to temper my blade. Oh, okay. for the love of... You cannot still be on about a rematch. Yeah, Yandere Simulator over here is definitely on about a rematch. Or is he? That is and has ever been yeah. my sole concern. You, on the other hand, are fixated on a different quarry. And so you could be potentially trying to help us out until, like, so that so that you clear my distraction. Oh my god, it just hit me. So, like, this is almost like Mass Effect 2, where part of the role in Mass Effect 2, as you go through the story, is to do side quests specifically so that your party members are not, your squad members are not distracted and they can focus on the main mission. So you'll help them like deal with their family issues and their unresolved stuff and that'll be their main quest. And your goal is to help them so that you clear their plate basically to focus on what you want them to focus on. That's what he's doing. He, I could see him helping me out for that purpose. Like so that he can be like, all right, we've saved the world now. Can we have our friggin' rematch? Your passion pales. Yet neither hate nor despair seem sufficient to recapture your misdirected bloodlust. My bloodlust is focused on helping the world and not on making sweet, sweet combat love to you. I think that's a, re a reasonable place for it. I don't think it's misdirected. So I hone my blade and I wait. Okay, so you are just going to be there. I wouldn't... Maybe you'll be like an epilogue, like a post-final boss thing. That's it. That's all you care about. This has got to be tough for Julius to speak up against against him. He was the prince of a empire he cherished. is in ruins. Our homeland, the nation you rule, is as good as gone. Rule is a. Uh, I. He never really ruled it. To be fair. Along no, he did so rule it. Many of its people. I don't know if he ever actually ruled it. If it was just Elidibus in his stead. He certainly helped rule. No, that's. He certainly helped rule a part of it. He was. He was a major player, even if he never took the throne. Not just soldiers like us. Not only those who fought and killed for power and duty. Innocent civilians. I can't imagine Xenos is going to give a shit now. Murdered by their own flesh and blood. Lost and confused as they breathed their last. While we who survived with our lives and minds intact were left to freeze to death. Yeah, this is hitting. That last one especially hits Alpha No and Alize pretty hard. The Eorzeans tell me all this was your doing. You slaughtered your countrymen. Yeah, he you did. did. For what? For nothing in the end. So much wasted effort. Yeah, zero, zero guilt to trip here. You. You bastard! I do love seeing him confronted. Ulus, you must control your anger. Ulus, sorry. I do love seeing him confronted by someone who's not a part of his uh, little like Yandere fantasy here. By someone who's just like, oh, what are you doing, dude? Like, I'm. We're just trying to live our lives. Like, I don't care about your your bloodlust and your nihilism. I just, I'm, we just were trying to live. It will serve no one should it consume you and see you transformed. That's true. <laughs> Would you be happier had I a good reason? It's such an interesting theme that's going throughout Endwalker here. The cuz we know that Xenos is not That would be interesting. I wonder if Xenos is actually like another shard of I don't think that's likely, but even if he's not a physically another shard of Hermes, 
I he has a lot of that same nihilism going on. That same, just th there is no reason. What? If my motives met with your approval, would you no longer resent the outcome? Yeah, I probably. If so, then perhaps a beast's skin would suit you better. What? Duty, honor, morality. All constructs of convenience when put to proof. Are they? Surely the war taught you how easily power becomes the tool of the self-righteous. Yeah, but not... It also remains a tool of those who honestly believe in it. Who honestly hold to them. How the people's justice was merely a means to their ends? For some, but again, not for everyone. No if one disputes that it can be misused. Why? Ask any creature of this star and those above for answers, and they will tell you what suits their fancy. And they would be right to do so. What meaning there is to be found in the petty vicissitudes of your existence must be gleaned by you and you alone. I'm just thinking, I'm... He's not being as dismissive as I would have thought. He's saying that don't... He's saying don't don't try to ask me for my reasons. I mean, he's, he is being dismissive, but... He's also saying that he's not... It's, it's not the same exact sort of nihilism. It's more of looking for his own meaning and hoping and telling Eulis to look for his own meaning. It's a different flavor of nihilism. Should you seek it in battle in the fruitless pursuit of my demise, then come. Assume your rightful place as a notch on my blade. Do not do it, Eulis. Your purpose, that's not your purpose. You have other things you care about, way better things. You are a blight on the Galian race. And there would be no more satisfying way to expunge it than by beating you to death. You physically will not be able to do that. But I will not be party to another tragedy. I refuse to lose anyone else because of you. There you go. So go. Go! And may we never suffer your madness again! Xenos! It's so hard to tell whether he's ever, like, actually impacted by any of this. I don't think he is. But it's hard to tell. Perhaps you found meaning in living this way. I cannot deny you found strength. Are you going to try to ask him for his help? Yet if you only pursue your hedonistic pleasures and pay no heed to the plight of others, then no one will give you the time of day. You will never get what you want, not even the battle you pine for so dearly. A well-played Alizé. That might get you'll through to him. You'll be alone for an eternity, and you'll deserve every agonizing second of it. This is why you're your best character. You may have found the one way to hurt Xenos. Oh my god, that dialogue was so good, both from Eulis and, well, not from both, from Eulis and Xenos and Alizé. That was, oh, that was chef's kiss right there. We're ready to depart. The refugee ships will be leaving shortly, but I've asked mine to remain for the time being. Are you going to stay There's down here and help? for you to join me on it, if you wish. <laughs> sure. 
You're trying. Do contain your surprise. I needn't agree with the Scion's methods or intentions to acknowledge that their deeds are deserving of gratitude. Yeah, your, your dickitude has certainly reduced in level since the expansion. We appreciate the offer. But might I ask why you are delaying your departure? I presume it is not solely for our benefit. I must visit Garlemald ere we return to Charlion. Having caused such an uproar, it is only meet that I explain myself to the Ilzabad contingent. That's fair. And again, I appreciate that he's going out there doing this his own, on his, his own and not just sending random messengers to do it for him. Allow us to accompany you then. We should be glad to facilitate, given our familiarity with all concerned. If you would like to join as well, Eulus, we can speak of recent events on the way. Yeah, you're a partner now. He'll be off to your seat on the forum next. <laughs> Their faith. <laughs> Stinian is such a good wingman. I'm not sure what we're supposed to read into that last look. Maybe just surprise, or maybe a little bit of acknowledgement. Not unhappiness. And not, like, pride either. It's hard, hard to tell. But that's going to be it for me for now. Uh, actually, you know what? Let's... No, we can turn this in, at least. Astinian. We couldn't save them all, but if we'd arrived any later, it would have been a massacre. Things were looking bleak until you and the first turned up. Oh, that was the first. Graha. Though there will be time later to discuss your journey to the first, there is one thing I must ask. Did you perchance speak with our friends in the Crystarium? Yes. Lina and Becklug both warned me against overtexting, against overexerting myself. Strange that they would express such similar sentiments. Identical, in fact, but their advice is duly noted. Glad we got to pass that on. Fortuno. This is the contingent's base of operations, I take it? It is. Lucia. At the very least, I am glad our own members are accounted for. Alphano. That the final days should manifest here, too. After everything these people have suffered is a fate cruel beyond words. Yet Garlemald has had it. Rough. Nevertheless, with allies old and new at our side, there is yet reason to be hopeful. Agreed. Eulis. It's been a while since last we spoke. For some time, I was not myself. Lucia and the others told me what happened that night and about the events that took place while I was receiving treatment. That's right, he got, like, mind warped. I'd forgot about, forgotten about that. It was only then that I realized the lengths you and yours go to. I know I might never be able to repay you, but I'll be damned if I don't try. Most of all, I, I want to thank you, all of you, for everything you've done and continue to do for the sake of my people. You're quite welcome. You're going to be fine, Eulis. Alizé. To see Zeno standing there, so uncaring and unrepentant. Gods, I don't know what came over me. I'm glad it did, whatever it was. I just blurted out the first thing that came to mind. Yeah, that's surprising. That's really not like you, Alizé. Anyway, but looking back on it, I stand by those words. I would say I hope they won't incite him to further by villainy, but to be honest, I doubt he even remembers what I said. That I don't believe. I think you actually got through to him. I don't think he's going to... Again, there's, I'm not expecting a face turn out of this, but I do think that what you said impacted him. Anyway, enough about all that. It's good to see you again. Thank you. Good to see you too. Are these going to be the same? Yeah. Um, let me go. Okay. So that's going to be it for me for this session. 
uh, next time we will continue talking to Lucia for outside help. Thanks for watching. See you later. Bye-bye.